Hello, this is Mr. Beck. Uh, this is a tutorial for my seventh grade multimedia class. We're going to learn to keep score here using a graphical asset that looks like this. Uh, this technique was uh, demonstrated to me by a couple of students in my third period class. And uh, this map here belongs to Jake. And Jake and another student named Aldo um, got together and sort of showed me how to do this. And now I get to make a YouTube video. So I'm very fortunate to have smart, motivated students, let me tell you. Um, all right. so. I've got a graphic that looks like this, and this is a final product. So this is kind of what we're shooting for here, and then we'll back down and we'll build it up. So I'm going to hit uh, P to play, and if I drive towards the ring, you can see that as I connect with the objects in the game, assuming I can do that, I'm going to try it one more time. All right, the number in the left-hand corner goes up. So what it did was it mapped the zero to begin with, and then after I made a collision, it mapped the one and displayed it to the player. All right, so that's kind of where we're headed with this video. Here I am, uh, same map, except I haven't, I haven't built any of that in. So here's what we've got. We have a torus over here, and this is what I'm connecting with. And when the main character connects with this torus, we're sending a message to everything else that's active with the subject and the body, HC. And we're going to count those messages a little bit later on. So it's important to know that we're sending a message when we're colliding here, the HC message. We're going to grab that later, and we're going to use it to increment um, the map. All right, so I'm going to add a new scene here. I'm going to click New. And uh, here we go. All right. And I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to add a plane. For some reason, mine's off a little bit, but I'm going to go ahead, and I'm going to center it. Add Mesh Plane. All right, and so I've got a plane in the center, and uh, I'm going to open up my, my property windows here, and I'm going to bring my 3D cursor here directly above it, okay, by typing in the value 10 there for the location of the 3D cursor, and I'm going to add a camera there, so I'm going to say add and then camera. If we look through it, you can see the plane in the camera. We also need to add, you know, let's put a light here, so I'm going to go add lamp. And I'll add a hemisphere light. All right, so we've got a real simple scene here that's got a camera, a light, and a plane. The next step is to unwrap the plane. So I'm going to go into edit mode. And I'm going to choose unwrap. And this is where we're going to grab the, uh, the graphical asset. Now, I do have it linked underneath the YouTube video. If you're feeling industrious and you would like to type all this, um, that's where you can find this particular graphic. If you're in my class, all right, and you go to Network Drive Students, Blender Resources, Font Image, you'll find it there. Now, down in the right-hand corner here, I have the UV Image Editor open. So what I'm going to do is you'll choose Image, Open Image, and you'll just grab that image that I just referenced. In my case, I've already done that, so I'm just going to choose it, and it looks like this. All right. Now, the goal at this point is to grab these points here. I'm going to hold down Shift. Then I'm going to use G. And we want to get a box around the first character here. All right, so I'm going to pause the video while I do that to save time. So here I am. I've drawn a box around the first character here. And it looks like this. OK, um, that's kind of. I, you want to try to get it in there as, as close as you can and be as accurate as you can with that first character. Okay, um, so we've got it unwrapped. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add up here where the material settings are. I'm going to make sure also that I'm in Blender game at this point. All right, and I'm going to add a new material. And then I'm going to check the text property. Okay, now at this point if I hit P and I go into game mode and I try to play the game, you'll notice it disappears. Well, that's because we need to now add a game property to this object. So I'm going to add a game property, and it's going to be called text with a capital T. It matches this checkbox here, OK? And uh, it, the type is going to be integer, right? And you can see I misspelled it there, so I'm going to fix that. And we'll, make it, we'll give it a starting value of 1 this time. OK, now if I hit P, all right, you can see it's a white, it's not textured correctly, but we'll go ahead and fix that right now. Um, 
I'm going to go into, oh, we'll also check, uh, we need to check two more things here. There's our morning bell, but that's okay. Uh, I'm going to check face textures and face textures alpha. All right, and then if I hit P, you can see, there we go. Now it's mapped to the number one. And as we change the game properties here, you know, I can change it to anything, four. All right, and if I play, it's going to show the number four. So the trick is to just increment that number every time there's a collision, right? So two more things we have to do. I'm going to add um, a message sensor, all right? And we're going to listen for that HC message over here. All right, so we're listening every time HC gets broadcast. And then I'm going to connect these two up. Oh, I need to add and, right? And then I'm going to add, uh, let's see, we are going to change a game property, right? So that every time the HC message is received, we're going to add to the property text one. So take a look. All right, so every time HC is received, this happens. It'll go one, two, three, four, five every time that message is uh, received. Okay, so our last step now, we're gonna go back to our uh, initial scene here, and I've got an empty sitting back here that I'm just going to use for this. We're going to overlay that scene onto this one. So I'm going to add an always sensor. And for the actuator, it's going to be scene, and we're going to add an overlay scene, and it's going to be the one that I just created. All right, and this is going to overlay everything I just did on top of this one anytime it's activated in game all right and the end result is this now anywhere you look really if I hit P to play you can see that the score is right there do it one more time and if I get out there and I hit it you see it uh, it increments and, and now you can just uh, go in and we can position this plane you know wherever you you want to put it so I can get GX and then maybe GY, and I can drop it up in the top right corner because this scene is being overlaid on our primary level. And if I hit P, now you can see there it is. And we've got a nice little graphical asset that increments as we uh, score points. So that's it. I hope it works out for you. And um, if you have any questions in class, raise your hand. If you have any questions out there online, feel free to send me an email. Thank you for watching.